YouTube. Today we are going through free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures, and we are learning basic JavaScripts on challenge 35 of 113. So we are going to use bracket notation to find the nth character in a string. So we literally did something like this a challenge or two ago. Um, we can use bracket notation to get any, any index within the string. This is a three letter string, so it's two indexes, meaning zero, one, two because computers start counting at zero. So the first character is actually the zeroth character. Uh, so if we want the second letter of the string, we want the first index, because the zeroth index would be the first letter, the first index would be the second letter. That should make sense by now. Main thing to remember is computers start counting at zero. That's how you have to start counting if you're thinking through these things logically. Uh, so we're going to try to set third letter of name equal to the third letter of last name. So we have a const, we have a variable last name, and we want to grab the third letter. So L O V. We want the V, which is really going to be at the 0, 1, 2, the second index. So really, if you're counting, you can just subtract 1, but it's best to think of it as, OK, I'm, I want the third letter, so the second index, so 0, 1, 2 second index. So third letter of first name equals last name. So right now this is set to the whole last name, this variable third letter of last name, and we can see that by going console.log third letter of last name. And we have the whole string there because we're referencing this last name variable which is here and points to the string Lovelace. So we're going to access the third letter at the second index with the bracket notation. And as you can see, if we console log it now, we get a V down here. So we are targeting the 0, 1, 2. The second index, the third letter. Let's see if it likes that. Perfect. That's all we had to do for this one. I hope to see you guys in the next video.